There are some people who believe cigarettes are mubah. Here I'm not to, here to discuss that issue. But on a cigarette packet in a week, you spend over 15 pound a week. Correct? And many of us, they will eat in takeaways and dessert parlors. Every day they eat, some of them they grow out, outgrow themselves. But you spend all that money, waste all that money, and now unfortunately young people are involved in spending money on, on drugs and other things. If you spend a small amount of money on a book a week, one book a week, in one year you will have 52 books, and you read the book in a week. This will not take you a week to read. But let's say you read this in a week. We stretch the time. You read one book a week, in one year you will have 52 books. If you read for 10 years, you will have 520 books. And then in 20 years, you will have 1,040 books that you read cover to cover. So many of us who are young, people who are younger than me, people who are in their teenage years, make an intention that this could be a karama of Imam Al-A'zam radiallahu an, a karama of Imam Ahmad Rida Khan rahimahullah ta'ala. What? That many young people make a promise to themselves that they will become a reading public. That you will read more. How to read? When you read a book, if you find a word difficult, highlight the word, go and check a dic dictionary, go and check the pronunciation, how to pronounce the word correctly, make notes on the inside cover. Uh, you make notes on the inside cover or in the inside page, what notes you need to refer back to. And then you are even have a bookmark within this book. And then you, go, you place the book on the shelf. Many years later, when you return back to the book, you check your inside notes. You will know where to go back to, where to benefit from. And if you read 52 books in a year, this is immense knowledge of the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.